Look hey, why. You never know. She's debuting her new song, I'm Transforming. You never know. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. If Kim Kardashian comes out with a record, then it's going to be totally new news there in general as well. <laughs> like, I like exclusives, but then I also hate exclusives. I love exclusives when I'm there or I'm able to get there or able to get it. I hate when I can't. You are the Optimus Collector, and I know how much you love Power Rangers, so you might as well get this horrible. So let me make sure I get that out. This looks so much better than the original. I think it's a hundred times better. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> get you excited, James? No, it's making me say, what are you thinking? Who is this for? And then I don't want to know who it's for. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so. Welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I'm Bobby the Bot. And I'm James the Con. And before we get started, we want to give a special shout out to our official sponsor, The Chosen Prime, where you can find a lot of the figures that we either talked about in the past or ones that we'll be talking about now. Um, go pick them up. Go check them out. Great place to buy any Transformers or other figures you may collect. Also want to give a special shout out to our members. And we actually have a new member, Jose Ochoa. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, who's a, a Titan. So we really want to thank you for joining us on this journey and helping sponsor the channel as well. And to our subscribers, really do appreciate you. Um, without you all, we wouldn't be here doing this. So a um, lot of lot of shout outs there. But now let's get into the news. Yes. And before we get into the news, I just want to say that I am sick. Um, the bot decided to get me sick with, I think, that hate virus or something, because he's <laughs> very mad that he's going to be spending a lot of money on this news. So... Uh -oh. With that, let's get into it. He's not going to be spending money on this. So Transformers 1 trailer is set to premiere in space. So this is what the press release says. Um, the the long-awaited origin story of the most iconic characters from the Transformers universe, Orion, Pax, and D-16, the brother-in-arms and sworn enemies, Optimus Prime and Megatron will debut, will debut its trailer on Thursday, April 18th. The launch kicks off at 6 a.m., PT, Pacific Time? Yep. It's usually PST. Um, yeah. With a live-streamed countdown showing the journey into space. After one hour, the craft will reach its peak at 125,000 feet above Earth, revealing the trailer with a custom introduction from the stars Crips, Chris Hemsworth and B Brian Tyree Henry, which you see on screen. The event will be streamed from at Transformer Movie social accounts, the Paramount Pictures, a YouTube channel and co-streamed by chris hemsworth on instagram i still don't understand how this is in space <laughs> so so what i'm Care gathering elaborate. what i'm gathering is that they're basically going to probably send a probe up to space and probably um they're you know i saw the the preview they were saying like it's out of this world and it's this that and the other so they're really hyping it up that it's going to be in space so they're probably going to send this craft up um we'll see the launch we'll see everything that goes on uh, maybe they'll have some pictures or some viewing of space they'll drop the trailer and maybe this is going to have to do with the movie maybe maybe they maybe in the movie they catch a glimpse of this orb that's in space or something like that and well actually that doesn't make sense because uh they got to earth <laughs> millions and millions of years ago so that that gets rid of that theory but in essence that's what i think they're going to do they're going to have some craft up there they're going to probably show space and everybody rich is going to space now so <laughs> i guess that's what they're trying to do yeah i don't understand this i feel that this is desperation that they're trying to get people to watch it because they know nobody's going to watch it. Uh, so, so you're not going to wake up at six a.m. and and P <laughs> PST is Pacific Standard Time. And no, PT it's is, PT. Yeah, Pacific Time. Yeah, they just took off. Okay, the standard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I probably heard that before, but my brain ain't functioning right right now. Um, either which way, I ain't waking up at six a.m. for this. I I think I will catch it after the fact 
Or maybe what we could do, we could do a live reaction to the thing on the channel. That would be kind of fun. Um, but yeah, no. I will probably, just because I'm going to probably be in a meeting, and I probably won't <laughs> want to be in that meeting, I may have it on in the background since it's going to be 9 o'clock here. I would have already been up and functioning. I may have it on just to see what this is all about and, and be able to talk to you about it. But otherwise, I don't really care. If you guys want a, you know, a, a live, well, not live with you guys, but live reaction of this, let us know so Bobby doesn't watch it. Because, <laughs> you know, you can't have you spoil it. So Robeson posted this, I believe, on Facebook and TikTok. I could be wrong, saying Optimus Prime will be at Coachella with a special guest. What are you thinking? Megatron. I think you're way too optimistic. I think it's just going to be Kim Kardashian or whoever the <laughs> biggest. I don't know. Does she make music? I really don't know. No. Whatever pop star is famous right now is just going to be up with, you know, with an Optimus Prime t-shirt on. I, I'm thinking since we're supposed to get Megatron this month, I'm thinking that that's what it's going to be. I think it's going to be him and Megatron or maybe him, Megatron and Grimlock or something like that. Um, to, or, or again, just him and Grimlock. But I think it's going to be something like that. Maybe they will have Taylor Swift or, you know, as you said, some pop star with them or whatever. But I think it's going to definitely Kardashian. be I don't. Well, I mean, look <laughs> why. You never know. She's debuting her new song, I'm Transforming. You never know. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> if Kim Kardashian comes out with a record, then it's going to be totally new news there in general as well. <laughs> <laughs> so time will tell I think you're being a little too optimistic because they're saving everything for the 28th because I think Coachella's going on right now uh, who knows All right. yeah. let's get into Probably what's just lot. announced I swear we already talked about this next one but it's the free comic book day 2024 specials and they sh showed off these comic covers I swear we had different covers before, but it's we've got new ones. What do you think? I, you know, again, I've been in on this whole series. I think I'll probably be getting the Hot Rod cover. I have a feeling that, you know, you you would probably lean towards the Baroness cover. But I think uh, these look great. And I've already talked to um, Chris at Urban Pop where I get my comics from and told him I will gladly be there to pick this up. Yeah, no, I, I would lean towards a Baroness cover, but I hate the Joe background. I, I'm just, you know me, I'm the con. I, I don't care for that at all. I don't like the blue. Um, but didn't they have one with Optimus and Megatron fighting that was really, really cool? I think so. So, so the other part That's about That's the one I would want. The other part about it is that there's so many different comic covers, and I actually had, a again, a conversation with Chris about this. I think that for the last issue, there was, I think, five or six different color covers just for the last Transformers. So it's really cool that they do this, but for, for me, I'm like, I'm not buying all these different comics just to have a different color cover, excuse me, unfortunately. But it's cool that there's options. It's cool that you can kind of figure out if there's one you like more than the others. It's always good if there's only one that you like. It sucks when you like two, three, or four of them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm not doing Transformers Keeping like I the... do <laughs> my toy. <laughs> or comics like I do my toy. Keeping with the comics, the trade paperback for Volume 2 is up for pre-order on Amazon. It's sixteen ninety nine, oh. And that's pretty cool. Um, I always prefer trade paperbacks. I don't think I'll be picking them up. Um, because I've been reading them online, but this, I, I, if I was to pick up these comics, I would probably pick them up this way instead of individually. Usually they have the comic book covers in the back, so if you want to see all the different versions and stuff, you could see them. Um, mm. I've always been a fan of trade paperbacks. You know, if I, late to the comic book game, if I would have known that, I probably would have done the same thing. Well, let's keep it moving. And Trumpeter and Hobby Boss has a smart 
kit for Transformers Bumblebee Nemesis Prime. This will be a <coughs> China International Expo exclusives. So you getting it? Oh no. If I was able to find this in the store for twenty bucks, I'd pick it up. But <laughs> I mean, I even... it, it, one, it doesn't have enough teal. You know, you know me and teal. Two, um, it doesn't transform. There maybe there's another Nemesis Prime that transforms that we'll talk about a little bit later. That is twenty bucks that I'll pick up, but definitely not that. Yeah, I'm not picking this up either. Uh, again, I like. I like exclusives, but then I also hate exclusives. I love exclusives when I'm there, or I'm able to get there, or able to get it. I hate when I can't. Yeah, not that I, I would. I completely up, agree but, with you. Yeah. Um, with this one though, I don't think it's going to be hard to get afterwards. Usually, all of these, I think Yolo Park. I don't remember. One of the people did a exclusives uh, that was their Optimus as a Nemesis Prime, and it was readily available everywhere. They also did Bumblebee and the Bug Bite, and you could buy it everywhere. So should be able to find it let's keep it going so fun b studios is making the we already talked about this the trailer turbine from the skybound comics and here it is 3d printed it still looks a little tiny but maybe i'm thinking of a different turbine and this might be the original one from i think episode episode issues one to two and it looks good i have to say um what would be better is if it could actually fit inside that trailer to give some use for that trailer I'm sitting here trying to figure out. I guess I have to go back and look because I don't remember it from the comic at all. And that's probably because I didn't pay attention that much. I was reading and looking at pictures and kind of moving forward. Yeah, well, you need to go do that if you don't remember. It looks like a big koozie, though. <laughs> well, you know, it could also be one of those. <laughs> Let's keep it moving. Fun B Studios is also making a um, protoform from Beast Wars. So this is before they like choose if they're um, Maximal or Predacon. And this is pretty cool. I wouldn't want it in my collection, but I could see where somebody would. Definitely won't make it in mine. Yeah, but again, it's cool. I like the spark in the it's gut, just, I guess you could say. Yeah, I guess know? it is the gut. Yeah. That is, yeah, that's very colorful. I like that. That's about it. Keeping with the Beast Wars, we've got Li Zhang's upgrade set for Rhino Cheetah and Hawk. So we've got, I think those are just fronts for the guns of Rhino with the Beast Wars inspired head. And then we've got a Rise of the Beast inspired Air Razor head and a Transmetal Cheetor head. And then it comes with guns for the, the Hawk. They all look better except for the hawk. I think that one looked kind of cool on itself. Um, if I could find that hawk, I'd prob probably pick it up. It's not where I normally get my KOs um, for repaint potential. The, and I don't know if it's just because of the picture, but the head on hawk looks really small. Yeah, and it's gold. There's no gold anywhere else, but they put gold all over the head. Yeah, that's... I mean, I do have that Prime Mole or whatever he's called, Gorilla, maybe, if they're calling him Hawk and <laughs> Rhino. But <laughs> I didn't get the upgrade kit for that one either. Yeah, no. I don't know, I put it up. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind picking these up, but again, I'm not going to go hunt them out. Let me put it that way. Yeah. So that Cheetor could also make a good Cataclysm as well. So maybe I'll have to find it. But let's keep it going to some actual repaints that I think you're going to want. Maybe oh. not. You might be out on these. I don't know. Well, let me know in the comments if you think he's out on these. And <laughs> Land Bull teaser as it came out in the purple colors. And just from what we see, looks amazing. I think the color coordination is going to be on point with this figure. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. It's it's a problem. I was actually um, talking to uh, my wife about these, and you know, she was just like, "Oh, that's a nice color." I said, "Yeah, it is." I said, "I'm I'm getting it." She's like, "Yeah, of course you are." 
And I said, yeah, I was reminding her what the set was because she couldn't remember. And then she said, so you're going to have three of them? I said, no, I'm going to have one of each. And <laughs> <laughs> I said, they're all different colors. Are you, you don't believe me? Is that yeah, what he's like, no, nah, you got three of them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I When the, they showed off the line, I told my wife, I was like, yeah, so I'm going to get this. It's Predaking, and they're doing it in purple. Oh, okay, sounds good. And I'm like, I don't think you understand. It's that Predaking I got, and it's coming out of purple, which means there's going to be six of them. And she's like, oh, God. And I'm like, yes. So, <laughs> But, yeah, this looks great. I can't wait to see it in the full thing. And hopefully, you know, these will come out staggered enough. About three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got DNA Design's DK44 Studio Series 102 Optimus Upgrade Set. This is the Chinese exclusive parts. They look fine. I, I like the purple on them. Yeah. I think it's pink, but I think oh, it's okay. Good. That too looks purple to me, but okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> wow, look, here's the Nemesis Prime I was talking about. This is MHZ Toys MHM01B Supreme Commander Black version. So it comes with all of those pieces there. Um, what do you think of this? There's not enough teal on it. You're right, there's not enough teal, but for 20 bucks, I picked it up. I already paid it, paid for it. Oh, wow. I was like, 20 bucks, that's cheaper than a deluxe, and it looks better than what Hasbro produces. And has about... This, if this came out with Hasbro, it would be Commander Class with all those pieces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably so. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, I know yeah. you like Nemesis, so I'm glad. I'm glad you're... You, I have... You I, I, I have KO Nemesis Primes from the movie already. I think I have two or three of them, so he'll fit right in. And I do think this truck mode is really cool. It's very aggressive, so I do like that. And the little guy is a um, a bonus. For 20 bucks, I was like, sure, why not? So is that um, Nemesis Noah? Oh, no, 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 no. That That's a... Um, I don't know what he is, but he is not a human. <laughs> that is not flesh color. That is an orange visor. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's, it, well, it makes me laugh how big he is. So I guess it it, do, it doesn't have to be a human. So. Well, th 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 that those aren't the same picture. Oh. Okay. If we go back one, that's how big he is. Tool. Hmm. But I mean, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So it still looks good. Um, I'll be happy to add it to my. Nemesis collection. And next we've got Iron Warrior Pioneer via um, Captain on Weibo. So this is the Prime Bumblebee that doesn't transform. And I might be wrong, but I believe that is the Red RC that came out. I would not know at all. I didn't yeah, pick but... up the red or looked at it. So yeah, you could be right. I won't yeah. argue there with you. This looks uh, good though for a non-transforming figure. It's. I, I'd like to see it in color to see some detail. Uh, let me not say detail because I can see the detail in in terms of the sculpt, but where the where the paints placed more so is what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's the prime they did behind him, which was pretty good. So I think this yeah. will be a good figure for those that want a non-transforming prime. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's fine. Um, I it, it I like the cur like the curves and all the detail in each part of it, like the vents on the chest, the the legs, the, you know, the just the, there's a lot of detail of each part. Yeah, yeah, they did a really good job with that. Um, so I think it looks good for what it is. Thank you. So you put this next one on, so which means I guess you have to pick it up. And there's <laughs> Trans Robots TFPR. Oh, I know what that means. Via Shentu Toy Box on Weibo. You are the Optimus Collector, and I know how much you love Power Rangers, so you might as well get this horrible mis mi mix mash of both of them. I put this on here all for you because I know how oh, much you love you. repaints. I know how much you love Power Rangers. 
and you love your beast so there's no, four options there's four options i believe three or four options for you to choose from um which i think you showed in the previous picture so there you go james no this is all for you um because you are the prime collector even though he has big convoy head i think this is an old ko honestly i don't think this is new so let us know in the comments if you have this um or if you're going to be picking this up i'm sure it's for somebody <laughs> james <laughs> let's get into the update <laughs> for james so these are some old figures that are getting a um, pre new pre-order. So Jetfire and SG Prime and Ratchet. All of those pre-orders are up. So it's 90 for Jetfire and $60 for the two-pack. Um, this makes me think we are going to get the Commander Class Prime. Because they are trying to get as much of this mold as they can. You're talking about for the Studio Series? Yes. So, yeah, the Commander Studio Series Prime. Yeah. It's... It's very, I would be very upset, like, like really, really upset if they did that. No, no. I mean, they're, they're releasing this to get their money on this mold before the new one comes out. I thought you were saying, but so you think they're going to redo, they're going to put out. Yes. A yeah. 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 Okay. They're just trying oh, to get okay. as much money out of this because they're going to re-release this. So everybody buys it and then they're going to release the commander class. Everybody's going to buy that. Then they'll release the SG okay. prime out of the new mold and everybody will buy that. Even okay. though this one, they just bought this. I thought you were saying that they were going to use this mold. To... No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Yes. That they could, that. they, they might that. do that and leave the legs and just do the upper body. I could see them doing something like that. That would be terrible. I would be so upset if they did that. But, you know, if for, I think it's... This is where Hasbro upsets me. This Jetfire was a very good Jetfire. And you can, you know, if you didn't get it early, you couldn't find it. And it was getting... Re or scalpers were selling it for ridiculous prices and, you know, things like that. Then they re-release it a couple of years later. I just wish they had done this for at that time so people could have picked it up and and not had to worry about the outrageous scalper prices just in well, general now i'm i'm not defending them but that was during covid wasn't it that that's what i'm saying i said in, that's what i meant i mentioned in general so, i would you know okay but, okay yeah in general yeah definitely during covid you know but even even we've been out of COVID for a few years now, and you know they still kind of operate the same way, <laughs> like that Studio Series Prime, right? Cosmos, uh huh, yeah. Well, those are exclusivity deals, so that's a whole different beast. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be picking up this Jetfire or if you already have them. Honestly, he's probably one of the best Jetfires in my opinion, the best Hasbro has produced, in my opinion. I really like it. Um, yeah. So we got new images of Magmatron via the Dappy Scrapper on TFW. Something that annoyed me was the sword, the midi swords, and one set of flippers are rubber plastics. That really annoys me. But um, it does look like an upgrade to the original, which is something I can't say about a lot of... Hasbro's offerings that they've been coming out with recently. So, yes, it definitely looks it's definitely an upgrade. <laughs> Which is uh, it's just um, yeah. I uh, they shined a turd? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I I really like this still. I think it's interesting, it's unique, and that's what I want to see out of my Transformers. This mode, though, is not my favorite, but I figured out how to fix it. If they would have had, I don't know if they could have done it, but if they would have moved the back legs on the, I'm just going to call it a T-Rex. I don't remember what dinosaur it is. They moved, the, there was a way that they could move up to where the little arms are. It would have looked more like a dragon. And not like a T Rex with stuff sticking out of his butt. God, that's terrible. So, 
honestly, this doesn't look good to me. There's people out here who love it. You know, this is something you wanted. You wanted the original. I would have passed so hard on the original. This looks a lot better than the original. So yeah. if you want, if you have the original or wanted the original or liked it, I, if I did, I would definitely get this one. So let me make sure I get that out. This looks so much better than the original. I think it's a hundred times better. And I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes sense. This isn't for you. This is yeah. much more in the realm of anime weirdness that you don't like. So, yeah, yeah this is, this look, looks like a nightmare. That's why I like it. Let's move on to something that I think you will be picking up. So the Holiday Optimus Prime 2024 Hallmake, Hall, Hallmake, Hallmark Keepsake Ornament have official listings. I believe it's about $20. I will not be picking this up. Why not? <laughs> I don't collect um, Christmas tree ornaments. I mean, granted, I could probably start, but yeah, I don't. Unless, like, my, my wife does all the, the Christmas decorations and all that. So if she wanted to do it, get it and put it on there, which I doubt she will, then great. But otherwise, and I I have the, the Holiday Prime Transformer. Sounds like you need to make a little tree for your downstairs area. All the Transformers. I'm good. I don't I don't ever get Transformers for Christmas, so... I have to buy. I have to buy, have to buy yourself myself. transformers. Yeah, that's how it always is. I buy mine. So, why put up a tree and do all that stuff just to have to clean it up afterwards? I'm good. Yeah. No, I have um, the G1 figures ornaments. This doesn't fit in with them, so I'll be skipping it. Yeah. And I don't like that he has a blue head. Personally, with the rest <laughs> is colored. <laughs> Moving on to some third-party offerings, Transart showed off BWM-10 Metal Dinosaur. And this head does look better than the other one, I have to say. Um, but... It looks more proportional than the other figure. Mm -hmm. But? it look... No, no but. It oh, okay. looks better. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's still not my favorite head, but it looks better. I didn't yeah. realize he had such a big chin, but I haven't watched this show in years, so. Yeah, I haven't either, but. You did, you watched it like. No, I'm sorry, I watched it once, and that was over a year ago. <laughs> so, it's, it looks like the character, I'm just not a fan yeah, I don't, I, mean, I don't think I'll be picking this I'll one still up. probably be picking it up. So I think you'll be picking it up too when you see it in color. Yeah, I don't. It's not like it's not you did with. Since you have more Transar toys than I do. That's only because I do a lot of color. The same figure in, in different colors. That's the only reason. Yeah, and you'll do this figure in multiple colors too. Yeah. Let's move on to something different. We got Big Firebird's Insect Machine Princess Kabuto. That's that's a, a a heavy arsenal she's wielding there. <laughs> like, is that middle one? A They're revolver? all the same. Yeah. Oh yeah, it has like a revolver type of thing. Yeah. I think it's supposed to be like a samurai, so it's like those musket things that you okay. see sometimes. Okay. Are you are you still are you are you interested in this at all? I am and I'm, I'm not. So I don't really like this mode. I don't like the torso. It looks way too human. I'm sorry. I don't like that at all. Um, I think the Windblade, the Bingo Toys Windblade and Spider Girl were the, just the right amount of sex appeal with Robot. They didn't overdo it. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> like, it is over the top ridiculous, you know. But... I really like this alt mode. I think this is really cool. And I wish more of this translated into that bot mode. I did see this, and I did not... It probably is, but it doesn't look like a shell former. 
like they normally do with uh, with a lot of the female fembots, fold their legs over their head and put a shell on top. The bot mode looks looks very sleek and everything, and this looks kind of chunky. So it probably is, but it just does it. it like if, if you showed me them together, I wouldn't say that that bot transforms into this. Yeah, I get you. Um, we'll see. If the price is like fifty to seventy bucks, maybe. I don't know what it would be. Anything of more than seventy dollars, I would be out. And that's not that's maybe I'd be interested because that bot mode looks a little crazy. I was thinking sixty bucks. That would you know that would be good. It looks that that's a decent size for sixty bucks. But that whole torso section, I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> like it, it's 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 a little much. Get you excited, James? No, it's making me say, "What are you thinking? Who is this for?" And then I don't want to know who it's for. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so let's keep it going. And Magic Square showed off their MSB56 Tyrannosaurus Rex, and this is we uh W U S S S T T T. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that on Weibo. And this thing looks like it has a really good um, range of articulation, more than I was expecting. Uh, do you have more photos of this? No, these are the only two. Okay. the I saw some photos, and he's big compared to Optimus Prime. They had him standing next to Optimus Prime. Oh, I didn't see those comparison photos. Um, which Which looked really good. They also had one of him in alt mode and um, him breathing fire on the ground, which looked really good as well, uh, talking about the articulation. I don't like that. I don't like the yellow on here. It looks like it's three. It looks like a prototype. It look, Yeah, it looks, it looks like 3D printed or something like that. So that's my only gripe about it so far. But I do like the articulation, and again, some of the I like that they have the size difference. I mean, that's something that you know, just talking about Robles, and you know, I was looking for their Grimlock to kind of tower over their Prime, um, and that's how I, I picture Grimlock, bigger than Prime, and and uh, this looks good except for the yellow on here, in my opinion. I agree. The yellow they needed to like maybe paint that chest piece. I don't know something on there. It looks too much. Yeah, it's yeah. It just it, it doesn't look finished or it, like I said, it looks three D printed. Even with an Autobot symbol on there, it still wouldn't look finished. No, not at all. Yeah. Let's get into what's incoming, and I think you're going to be picking up all three of these. I think you are ready to spend your money, and the first thing is MP fifty six plus rigorous. So this is going to be coming out soon, and this screams Bobby to me. He loves noodle legs, and this is giving it in all its glory. I actually did not put a pre-order in for this. I'm going to wait for them to come out with, hopefully, a KO of this. And I'll pick that up. I'm right there with you. If a KO comes out and it's a decent, a reasonable amount, I might pick it up. But this is not my favorite design. I no. think we've talked about how I... It's hoist, correct? Yes. Yeah, how I don't like Koist's legs, and I don't like that they just terminate into, like, where I think his lower stomach should be. He doesn't have, like, a waist piece, and that's what really kills this. Even if that's screen accurate, I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. It is, I think it's a Decepticon, if I'm not mistaken. It is. He's a Decepticon medic. Yeah. So, um, again, I like I'm that, though. I think that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, again, I'll, I may pick it up um in a ko actually i probably would pick it up in a ko i shouldn't say my, i would pick it up in a, as a ko next we've got magic square toys mso2sg mirror commander and next to him is the yolo park prime i think that's custom painted and this is a via user on weibo i'm sure you already paid this off i i did order it yes and i don't know yeah, I have a lot of the Magic Square one versions now. I think this will be um, 
five, I think. Five? I think so. Four or five. Oh, because you got you you got the toy color. I forgot about that. One. Yeah. So I think this will be five. Um, I just don't understand why they use that silver on the lower half and the bronze on the top half. Yeah. I really I, don't like that. I think we talked about that before. Well, so one of the things that I why I don't mind it is because since I have a, a couple of shatter glass figures, now they all kind of look different. Same premise, yeah, yeah. but they, they look different um, on the shelf. So I, I feel a little bit better about that. And so uh, I was just messing around with my Hasbro or my uh, Takara shatter glass that I picked up at um, TFCon. And it looks completely different. And I like that because yeah. I can put them on the same shelf, but they, they're different versions of it. So it'll look good. Yeah. Give this one a purple lollipop. <laughs> now, I think you're going to get this. This is Robot Toys RT-02 Tyrant. It's coming out soon. We all know Beast Wars Megatron is your favorite version of Megatron and that you love Legend Scale. It's your favorite scale. So I think this is a no-brainer for you. Honestly, I think you should get it because I know how much you love Beast Wars and I know how much this is the first Megatron you um, identified with. So this screams something you can tuck yourself into bed with and just hold and it's a legend scale so i definitely wouldn't be picking it up um no no offense it's just not my cup of Venetron. it looks good though i like all the accessories i'll give that yeah uh again had i had i maybe started off with legends i'd be picking this up but exactly yeah if if i had more legends figures i'd be picking it up but yeah, I'm good. Like, I'd rather get the KO MP one. I think it's like eighty bucks or ninety bucks or something like that. I'd rather put this money towards that. Yeah, but I know a lot of people have mentioned they're in, they're getting it. So, looking yeah. forward to hearing what you all think about it when you get it in your collection. Yes, please let us know. And if you got that Optimus, let us know as well. Caesar, Caesar. I think his name was. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about what's recently released. Um, let's see. I think you'll get all of these as well. Shockwave's your favorite Decepticon, and you love that Bumblebee movie intro scene, so I think you're going to be picking this up. This was cited in U.S. retail by TFW boards member T-Hybrid. Yeah, this is the one you were actually thinking about getting, so I think <laughs> you're closer to picking it up than I am. Yeah. yeah, no, after I found out that it doesn't have bicep swivels, which I think somebody said it does. But I'm still not going to pick it up. After looking at it, I'll wait for a sale. And if it doesn't go on sale, my collection isn't missing anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Those sales, those sales do wonders. I'll say that. Yeah. If I was to find this for 20 bucks, I'd pick it up. That's a reasonable price. $35 is, is, isn't a reasonable price for me for this figure. I can't disagree with you. One Shattered Glass Prime to another SND's 08S The One SG Deco came out. Um, the Deco still looks wrong. The orange should be green. But I know you were all in on these. I think it will just look like a different SG Prime for your shelf. It will. Uh, my only gripe is that it's like chug scale i thought you'd like that chug's your favorite thing to collect right no but i can't th i think I, I i like that alt mode yeah the alt mode is really nice i'm still don't understand why you're so in on a chug scaled idw styled prime that's like two negatives for you it is but i don't have anything like that and it was a slow month when i put the pre-order you didn't get the mp it. version of the IDW Prime? No, I did it. I missed it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I have the shatter, uh, not shattered glass. Nemesis color is pretty good. This yeah. looks good. It's just, I wish if it was like eight or nine inches tall, that would be perfect. But I think this is like six inches tall or something it's, like that. It's seven. Small for me. it's seven inches tall. That's what they say because that's what all of the <laughs> Voyagers say. They're seven inches, but half of them are not seven inches anymore. Well, I mean, that's Hasbro saying that. I mean, hopefully. Yeah, you, I mean, I, I guess I do trust third-party figures more. Um, I will say I like that they use black instead of silver. 
throughout his body, like for the thighs and stuff. I think that looks really nice. This it just looks different as well. It just looks like a different, a different type of prime. And I heard that the transformation is a little bit involved. So and I heard it breaks too. So watch out. Yeah. <laughs> with my luck with with QC issues, I should have no problems. <laughs> well, you'll have to keep us, you know, notified on that, whether or not it breaks on you. But let's move on to another thing you're going to be spending your money on. And this is X Trentabots Dante SG Deco MX5S. Yeah, yeah. This, this is going to come home. This is, again, I've said it here before. This is probably one of my favorite molds that x transbot has done these utility vehicles are really really good uh they're very solid transformation is is actually pretty fun and not a lot of craziness going on i mean i guess the ladder may be the the one thing that's a little wonky but otherwise great figure and i i like i've liked all of them even the bulkhead one i have to agree this thing looks amazing I just don't have a place for it in my collection. Yeah. But it looks good. I really like the blood flames that he comes with. I think that's a really cool little... Well, thing. they come with Inferno, too. I know, but I like that they're deep red. Oh. I thought they were deep red on the other one, too. I could be wrong. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. They I'm look... just saying. Yeah. They're, they're, they remind I mean... me of Elden Ring. That's why I like them. Oh. <laughs> so, I think this looks really cool, though. Um, it does. I'm, maybe um, it'll go on sale, and I'll pick it up. Yeah, um, it probably will. Um, I, I, I kind of see a goal. Maybe not the sale that I want, but you know, we'll no, see. Yeah, probably not the sale you want, but I'd yeah. be worried that it breaks though, because it is extra spots. No, but you I, said all of these have good QC issues, so knock on wood that that continues. I had I had a problem with the bulkhead, and oh, that's right, the screws. A screw was stripped. Two screws were stripped, or something like that. But um, all the other ones I had, I haven't had any problems with them. Yeah. Next up, we've got Doctor Wu's Grapple Hauler Perceptor and Magnificus. It's so it's unfair to Doctor Wu to say this, but after seeing that shattered glass, <laughs> you can you cannot compare the two. I know you can't, but it, like my eyes, it's hard, it's just taking a while to adjust. I'm like these look yeah, terrible, especially when they're the same size on your screen. Yeah, yeah I, I get like, it. This I is it. garbage, yuck. You know, um, <laughs> I was I was not in on these anyway, and thanks to James, I'm not in a, on now. Um, no, I just don't. I I never really liked grapple and and hauler that much to. You know, go into the legends scale for them. Um, the preceptor looks good. Magnificus looks looks fine. Um, but yeah, this isn't this is something that's going to be easy for me to skip. Yeah, I've said it before. If they did Magnificus and Perceptor together, I probably would have picked up that pack. But I'm not buying two packs for the figures I want. Doctor Wu really, in my opinion, made a big mistake doing that because I could care less about those two. I just want Perceptor and Magnificus, and I just won't buy them. But, you know, on the other side of the coin, there's somebody out there that wants just those two, and will buy both of them, and will just put the other figures away. So, Well, I think if they did come out with the two-pack, you'd make up some reason that you weren't going to pick them up anyways. And say, nope, I'm going to pick them up. Probably would. <laughs> well, the thing with... I've already said this. I really like Perceptor because I like that he's like a scientist. I've always liked that. And this scale actually works because he, you know, shrinks down in my eye, my mind. I don't know if that's canon or whatnot. So it would make sense that you would have two little microscopes on your display. I think okay. you should get it because they're MP scaled. But let's no. move on I'm happy to with this. Mine. So I just... What? I, I'm happy with my fans' toys and my XTB Perceptor. This size, what is it? Mass shifting. You should, you should get them. The X Transbot one we, came with the little one. I'm good. <laughs> no, nah, that doesn't transform though. You don't like non-transforming figures. 
Um, but so this already came out a while ago. But DNA Designs DK38 Legacy Motor Master and Minasaur kits are back up and are out. So if you missed out on this, go pick it up. I don't remember if you picked it up or not. I passed on it, and I thought about getting the KO KO version that was oh, missing, right. missing a couple of pieces, and I I passed on that as well. Um, I don't know if the price is cheaper now that they re-released it, or if it's. The I think same it was price. like ninety dollars. Okay, I was thinking eighty, but whatever. I know it was too. Maybe much. it was eighty. And I think this is sixty or seventy for a month, but. I don't know. I, oh I, no, no, no! I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's sixty eight ninety nine. Okay. So yeah, I don't. I don't love. I don't love everything about the kit to get it. There's a couple of things in the kit I liked, and a couple of things I don't. But yeah, I'll pass. Yeah, I didn't pick up that Minosaur, but if they maybe make it for the G two one, that'll eventually come out. Maybe I pick that. up. I know they need to finish right. If they ever do, they might just be pulling us along. So, time will tell. Yeah. <laughs> Something else that's coming through the um, space bridge eventually. Well, I think Breakdown was leaked for 2025 mass retail. We'll see. So, anyways, let us know if you're getting the G2 stud to cons below. Bobby, finish this thing up because I can't talk no more. I know, oh, Mr. Snotty over there. Um, please, you know, thanks for watching. Um, hit us up in the comments. We love talking to you all. Um, do that that YouTube stuff. Share, like, comment, subscribe if you're not. Click that notification bell so you can be notified when we post videos like this or any other types of videos that we may have. And with that, oh, um, members live coming up. Um, so, um, I'm thinking Sunday, if that works for you, James, um, yeah, that should, we'll, we'll, we'll post a link um, yeah. when we can. So that, when we that get all the, 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 the details, the fight print. Yes. Done. Because I have a busy Saturday. So hopefully you guys can hang out with us on Sunday and until next time to all debates are one, James feel better. We'll see you guys later.